Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad. Welcome back to another beautiful day on the Gubernation Gun Range. Today, we're going to take a look at some 12 gauge ammo that they say guaranteed to uh, knock you out. Let's go to the table and check it out. Here it is, the Brenneke KO Round. It's supposed to be improved faster than ever. I've heard it's a hard hitter more powerful than other slugs. Let's put it to the test today. I've got some Remington and Winchester regular old one ounce slugs. I'm gonna see how it performs versus those guys. This is just a one ounce slug as well. Does it live up to its reputation? Let's find out. All right, got one round of the KO, the Brenneke here. We're gonna shoot that second. I'm gonna shoot a regular slug first just so I can get an idea of whoa, what the recoil is like, how bad it is. So we're gonna go one round into uh, a plate and then we're gonna shoot the KO slug into the water. Woo, all right. <laughs> Here we go, ready? Let's do this uh, regular slug first. Oh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> yep, that hurts. It's good. All right, KO slug. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's uh. <laughs> Let's see how many uh, jugs we went through. Good night. All right, well that was uh, that was an energetic response here. And uh, due to my uh, camera guy's quick thinking, we labeled them with numbers so we can see. Number one, just ripped it apart all the way through. Two, same kind of situation here. Totally torn apart, but got destroyed. Always a good thing. Water jug. Or we just turned into a little hole. So we just poked in poked out it was kind of petering out at that point and then the fifth one is where we've got our payoff here busted in right there and here's our slug and our wad we had the perfect amount of water bottles come on out you little booger but there she is really flat in there that slug took a pounding but I mean that's some pretty impressive performance that was five gallons of water that we blew through yeah, blew my table over so uh yeah gotta say that's a uh, pretty potent load we're gonna switch over gonna let the camera guy <laughs> i'm gonna let the camera guy handle the load for a second and see what uh the recoil looks like from his angle all right now we got cameraman kevin he's gonna put one of the uh Brenneke ko's on a target down range and then we're gonna do some <laughs> shooting of the water jugs so go ahead kevin How'd it feel? All right, go for those jugs. This is a regular slug, regular slug. Go for it. Oh, God. <laughs> go for it. Oh, God. oh man, hey, got it all over me too. That was nice. beautiful. That was a uh, that was a heavy load, Kevin. <laughs> okay, regular slug. Totally destroyed the first bottle there and there might have been might have been a little bit of ice <laughs> left in those bottles second one also a little bit of damage the ice is attacking there it looks like we went in and we skipped out the side so we didn't get to catch this round the slug is somewhere off in the woods because here's our third one it's untouched we're going to take one more shot see if we can catch that slug in our vest back here and show you what it looks like. Couldn't catch it in the water. We're going to switch to some play here see if we can catch the slug. Here we go. Ah, yes! Oh man, that, that hits hard. First, that was what's left of that uh, first clay block. Yeah, it's 
ripped it in half. That's crazy. And then we got uh, up here the last one. Didn't get the last one. So here's the middle guy right here. Let's see if we can get in the light for you. There is our wad. Let's come on out there. And then we got a big old, oh, actually there's some more wad in there. Look at that. And then way in the back there, can you see it? Is there a slug? I'm gonna have to cut that out. Mm -hmm. Here she is. It's a pancake. Look at this thing. That flattened all the way out. This must be some really soft lead here because I'm gonna show you. This is that first KO round. And look at the difference between that. It's a massive pancake and there's that KO round. I don't know if this is harder lead or what it is, but quite a difference. All right, got the chronograph set up. Got uh, one round of the regular slug, one round of the KO slug. I'm just gonna see. We've got a, a theory between Kevin the camera guy and I about uh, these slugs and uh, I wanna see what the chronograph tells us. They're both one ounce slugs. So whatever speed they're going, the fastest one will be the most powerful. It'll be a real easy one to figure out here. Okay, first up, regular slug. All right. Alrighty, 1395. All right, now the Brenneke. <laughs> okay, all right, hold on. Ah. Ah. Oh, it turned off, dang it. I got it on video though, 1600. The chronograph told us indisputably that the Brenneke, the KL round, is the more powerful of these two rounds, but shooting them, I think we got a different impression. What'd you think? Uh, same. Uh, definitely got a lot bigger kick on the... Right. Yeah. The regular slug... Like every noticeably time, from yeah, the beginning. Was, felt like it kicked more. And I don't know if there's some sort of powder in here that uh, burns slower. I, couldn't, I can't figure out why it would be that way. But uh, anyways, that's what it feels like. The damage... I guess it was pretty much the same. I don't know. I, the uh, iced water didn't really help that much. I didn't realize <laughs> I, had, <laughs> I had three jugs full of iced water, so we couldn't really tell. But uh, we got a pancake with the regular slug, and then the Brenneke just held together really good and just punched its way through there. So I think really the Brenneke is designed more for like a hunting round where you can kind of pop a hole through both sides, whatever you're shooting, and then this guy is just going to wreck somebody's day, but it's not going to go super deep. So anyways, that's our impression. KO round. Definitely hits, not as hard as a slug on your shoulder though. That's for sure. I think that's about it. That wraps it up for today. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.